Welcome to the final video in our Quick Start series. In an ideal world, all project reviews would take place in a live meeting. Changes can be made on the fly and teams can act quickly and decisively. For many project teams, however, remote collaboration has become the norm. Fortunately, the iRISE platform is built with these teams in mind. This video will cover several capabilities in iRISE that enable teams to collaborate more effectively during every phase of a requirements definition project. Let's get started. An iDoc is a portable file format that can be exported from either iRISE Studio or Definition Center. iDocs are used to backup projects and are often the most effective method of sharing a project with reviewers. To open an iDoc, a reviewer needs to have iRISE Reader installed on their system. To use an iDoc in Studio, you can import the entire file as a new project, or you can selectively import only the components you need. Communicating with project stakeholders at the beginning of a review cycle is crucial. A start page is an important tool for reinforcing project goals and orienting stakeholders to the review process. An effective start page is one that can be standardized and reused across projects. Using the import capability in iRISE, let's grab our organization's standard set of components. Now that the components are in our directory, we can set our start page by right-clicking a page and choosing Start Page. Typically, we might customize the page with project-specific information, but for now we'll just fix the link to our scenario. Let's check out what our reviewers will see when they open our project. Our start page provides our stakeholders with some background information regarding both our project and the process of reviewing a simulation. We've also added some project documentation tools to keep everything in one place. Most importantly, we've provided a link that launches the scenario we want our stakeholders to review. A start page is just that, a start. To get the best feedback possible from your reviewers, the communication should continue throughout your simulation. This is accomplished using guides. You will use guides to provide contextual information to reviewers as they progress through a simulation. Depending on the needs of your project, the information you provide might range from high-level descriptions to highly detailed walkthrough notes. For even more context, a guide can be associated with a specific object on the page. Let's see how this looks to our reviewer. For your reviewers, guides will be enabled automatically. Since we launched the simulation from Studio, we need to enable guides. As you can see, the page guide opens automatically when the page loads. The widget guide only opens if we hover our mouse over the widget or click the guide icon. If you have access to a definition center, server-based collaboration is often the best way to manage a project. With your studio client connected to a definition center, you can check in your project to enable both collaborative modeling and server-based reviews. Once your project is on the definition center, you can use the email integration feature in Studio to initiate a review. Before sending our message, let's make sure our reviewers have access to the project. We do this in the Definition Center itself. The Definition Center is a secure web application that provides a user-friendly environment for managing your server-based projects. Inviting project collaborators and reviewers is the most common and most important task you'll perform here. Clicking the project name takes us to the project details page, which lists everyone who has access to the project along with their permission level. We can use the Invite People dialog to invite either individual users or user groups. For this particular project, we want our entire organization to have reviewer access, so we can select the Everyone group. Typically, a reviewer will open a project using the link we sent in our email message, but you can also review a project by clicking its thumbnail in the Definition Center. Once the project is open in the reader, you can take advantage of the integrated commenting features. Let's say a reviewer feels that the bold font for the email address field is not a clear enough indication that this is a required field. This reviewer would simply add a comment and associate it with a field label. The comment appears instantly both here on the Definition Center and here in Studio. Comments can be flagged with different colors, opened and closed, and exported to a CSV file. 
The collaboration features in iRISE are what make it such a unique and powerful requirements definition platform. The communication tools you saw in this video, in addition to some key reporting tools like the requirements document and project XML, provide teams with a solid foundation for project success. We hope you enjoyed our quick start series. Our goal is to give you just enough information to get started with iRISE. The links at the bottom of this window will lead you to some additional resources to help you on your path to iRISE Mastery. Thanks for watching. Thank you.